Hey lovelies, welcome to your July reading. Oh, sorry, I have to take this outside. It is so hot here this summer. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Just uh, some ground rules before it starts. We are going to use some oracle cards to get a little read on different facets of your month. Um, love, relationships, uh, work and finances, and also your spiritual development. And then we'll get your main spirit message from a tarot spread at the end. Um, these are going to be general readings, so my only ask of you is that you take what resonates and leave behind what doesn't. Um, since these are general readings, I tend to just kind of throw as many meanings out, and then you pick and choose what is relevant to your life and your circumstances. If it doesn't make sense, you have to forgive too many things, those messages just aren't for you. Leave those on the table and only take what resonates. If you're a cross-watcher, feel free to swap the, or even if this is your sign, um, and you're interested about another person or it sounds relevant to another person, feel free, you can re you can switch around the characters if you need to. Um, again, just make it fit to your life, make it resonate. Do not try to force the message. Um, going to be an interesting month ahead. Um, so we have lots going on, astrologically speaking, um, going into this reading. Uh, so on the second, we have that solar eclipse in Cancer. We have a lunar eclipse, oh, I want to say on like the... 18th, 19th, some, some, something like that. Later on in the month, we also have Jupiter going retrograde shortly after the eclipse. So in total, we'll have five planets in retro this month. So lots of revising, lot of looking back over things and reevaluating things as we're getting these huge downloads and resets from these two eclipses. So we are going to be changing and evolving so much over the next 30 days. So take this guidance as an extra boost, an extra support to help ground you and recenter you through all of this crazy that's gonna be going on. All right, so let's get to your cards and I hope you enjoy. See you in a bit. Hey Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Welcome to your July video. All right, let's get into your Oracle cards. All right, Spirit. What messages do we have for Scorpio concerning love and romance? Scorpio, I hope you have, you have been having a good July so far. I hope June treated you well. I know a lot of people had a really rough ending of June. Those last couple weeks were a little intense for a lot of us. You know, we had, um, whatchamacallit, we had Archangel Michael cutting a lot of cords last month. We just had our eclipse today. Well, when I'm filming this, it's on the second. So we just had that eclipse. A lot of resets going on. So if you've been kind of going through it, oh my God, my love goes out to you. I know what, you're I know what you've been through. It's been a rough one. All right, so let's see what's coming up for you. Spirit, love and romance for Scorpio for the month of July. Right. I don't think I've ever seen this card before. Let the feminine lead the way. So I will say Scorpio. This could show up for, in a couple ways for you. You guys are a water sign. So, you know, your polarity could still be masculine depending on what your, your moon and your rising signs are. But I mean, your sun is already in a feminine element. So you probably have some, you know, more feminine attributes, maybe a little more sensitive, a little more emotional, and kind of tuned in to those types of energies. I would say regarding your emotional world and your relationships this month, you want to let those lead. Maybe it's time for you to be a little softer in relationships. This could also be speaking to, especially for those of you in a relationship or looking to deepen a relationship, this may be a heads up that you need to kind of take cues from the feminine. So you could be a Scorpio, but a double masculine. You could have like, I don't know, a fire rising and an, and, a, and an air moon, which would make you double masculine. So you're probably with someone who's a little more feminine. You may have to be taking your cues from them where you're used to leading. You probably still will be leading, but you're gonna be taking your hints and your nudges from the feminine. So whether this is your own internal feminine where you just need to trust your intuition and feel it out and trust your feelings versus, you know, being logical and analytical about everything. So it may make you, could possibly make you a little more impulsive. Uh, uh, you know, as long as it's in tune with what you're feeling. Don't make a decision just to make a decision you just want it to be over with and done. Make it because it feels right. If this is speaking to your own inner feminine. If you're in a relationship, this definitely could be speaking to 
taking, you know, taking your partner into more consideration. Again, not that you don't already, but they may be doing something where you really have to kind of be following their schedule a little bit more. That could definitely be a thing to improve relationships right now. I don't want to say improve, advance. Let's say advance. I think that's that's more what I meant. All right. So yeah. well, what messages do we have about Scorpios? Spiritual growth. Well, I don't know what word just came out of my out of my mouth. Spiritual growth and evolution for the month of July. That doesn't feel right. Oh, wasn't prepared for that. That actually feels more. Oh, yes. Oh my god, this is perfect for you. Look at that, Scorpio. Transformation. I will say, those of you who are regular subscribe or have already been subscribed to my channel for a while, I feel like your last reading talked about transformation as well. Granted, I will say, you guys, you're ruled by Pluto, planet of transformation. So this should be no surprise. But I, honestly, I feel like the June video, we talked about you going through this transformation and this metamorphosis. So I felt like some of you just started rolling your eyes, be like, oh, really, again? We're not done with this yet? Could I just, could I just pick a form and be in it for a little bit? Why am I always transforming? Why I always got to be shifting? Baby, that's what you do, and you do it so dang well. Alright, let me, this is a new deck for me, so let's read this from the book. You guys can, how badass is this image though? Oh, I didn't even realize that was like, that was the earth in the middle, look at that. That's so cool, alright. You are experiencing an ending, hallelujah, we kind of talked about that. But hallelujah, you are experiencing an ending. You are feeling a loss as a whole or a void in your life. This empty feeling is a space for something new and better. A new way will reveal itself very soon. Pain is something that happens to all of us, but suffering is a choice. Yes, suffering is definitely optional. To suffer is to believe, to believe thoughts that are not your soul truth. Justifying, analyzing, and rationalizing will separate you further from your soul's wisdom. From this state, you will blame yourself, another, or an event for feeling angry or sad. Focusing on the suffering will only cement this ideology or belief that created it. In other words, you become what you fight against. Now imagine what you can create by focusing on all of the beautiful aspects of your life and what you are good at. Focus on where your life is filled with things that make you smile. Change starts with you, and all your desires begin with a dream. Where will you place your focus tomorrow morning? Love this. I love this. So especially reading that, and knowing we've been talking about transformation for a while, Scorpio, I almost feel like this is the month where the, everything clicks. You've gone through the fire. You've gone through the trials. It sucked. It was miserable. And I think, I want to say it was a couple months ago, we talked about, I think it was work. I think work was kind of heavy and there was some, there was shenanigans or something going on there. So you definitely went through something in that moment. I think this is the month where everything clicks, possibly because you had some time, possibly because you just had this epiphany, you've had a breakthrough recently maybe, but I feel like this is a month that everything clicks. Like even looking at this image, it's very like big bang to me. It's almost like those two molecules just just our butt and then sometime this month they touch and they set off this reaction i think this is the month literally everything clicks into place and you just have this new heightened perspective that just it's going to start building your momentum back up yeah i just it almost feels like you pick up speed again Especially with the feminine, you know, that's, that's definitely your more feely, spiritual side, kind of trusting that we're heading in this direction, processing some emotions, especially after all the fatigue that's probably been caused by whatever, whatever was gone through in, you know, the previous, I don't know, maybe two months or so. Oh, 
I just got chills. Alright, Spirit. What messages do we have for Scorpio concerning work and finances for the month of July? Oh, good. That one was so much cleaner than the last one. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. I can't. I can't. I can't. Look at that transformation twice. Twice. Literally twice. So this is the death card in the Good Tarot. They named it Transformation. But literally, you got it twice. So, yes. And it's funny, because we were talking about, you know, all these work-related things. So your workspace, definitely transforming. Or how you perceive your work. You know, some of you, I think we were talking about it, was it last month? Was it last month or the month before? Um, I can't remember, but I remember, like, I know at some point you guys were getting some shit at work. And it wasn't fair, and it wasn't just. Some of you might have left. Now, again, you're going through this rebirth. Maybe you're finding a new job. Maybe you're finding a, a completely new career. You're heading in a completely different direction. That could totally be a thing for you. But this internal transformation is definitely reflecting in the outside world. And it looks like work is a big focus for you right now. It, seems, it feels like July is going to be a little more, a little more work focused than, than normal. Or maybe even more so than you expected. Yes! I love this! Alright, so here we have the Wheel of Fortune. So it's the card... Uh, well, we'll leave that. Um, but card of luck. This is about literally like the fates turning the wheel in your favor. So another sign. Things are rapidly changing. Internally and externally. You could almost say here's the wheel again. And then you have the Knight of wands very impulsive passionate fiery energy this is a jack of all trades you know so you could be you could be transforming th through multiple different roles and just getting your hands mixed into a whole bunch of things and following different passions and things that maybe you haven't explored before or allowed yourself to get into because of you know a previous a previous expectation or a previous belief the Knight of Wands, he doesn't care about necessarily those beliefs. He's like, if he feels like he wants to do it, he's going to go do it. Anything he touches, he's going to find success because he's going to make it happen and because he does it with passion and drive and motivation. Oh, someone ran away. Love that. All right. So this is the guy who ran away. So you have the chariot in reverse. And then you have the Eight of Pentacles. All right. So what these two are telling me, Cherry Card in Reverse really speaks to, you know, not a whole lot of movement. Upright, it is, it's quick, it's fast. It's a speedy card. It's, it's forward progression. Now is not the time to necessarily advance forward because we're still kind of figuring this out. You're, you're still in this transformation phase, and that's what you want to be putting your focus and your effort into we're still we're still harnessing and tempering you we're still focusing and working on those skills and even with the the knight of wands you know we talked about having your hands in multiple things you know maybe that's why we're not necessarily moving forward yet because we you know we have our hands in all these different pots we need to figure out which one is the one before we start charging forward and making some new goals so it feels like this is just a period where you are kind of exploring and experimenting following these different passions. You've got some new opportunities coming in. This may be your time just to kind of feel it out. You know, and even bottom of the deck right now is the Six of Pentacles, which is all about being in the flow, kind of being open and receptive. You may have some new things coming into your world. Yes. That you never thought of before. Maybe even things that you were like, I would never consider working in that field or in that, in that location. But something about this month, I think you start changing those views. So we have the nine of, pen uh, nine of pentacles. Nine of cups pop out earlier. Emotional contentment. Love it. Finding peace, finding happiness in this new pursuit. All right. I'm actually going to put these together. Because this feels slightly separate. This feels cautionary. 
And I say that because I'm looking down at the bottom of the deck, which is the four of, pen four of Pentacles. Why do I keep calling cups Pentacles? I don't understand. Anyway, this Four of Cups is all about looking over the past, looking back at past regrets, not, you know, not really being able to move on. You know, and then I look at these three cards. You have the Four of Pentacles, which is miserly. It's clinging on to things, whether you need them or not. I just, I just, I need, I need to hold on so tight. I just need to, I just, I know these are mine. I need to, I need to hold this. I need to stand on these things, on these coins, because I, I don't want someone taking them away. I'm just going to protect them with everything I got. You have this Nine of Wands, which is definitely all about being stubborn and holding your ground. No, I've, I've spent so many years at this job or doing this, working in this industry. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not doing anything different. And here you have this Knight of Cups. So natural energy for you, Scorpio. You're a water sign. This is the water element. I feel like this Knight of Cups, like this Knight of Wands, Definitely is out seeking newness, is chasing something, wants to understand more, wants to experience more, but this is focused on emotion. Where he's about desire, this is emotion. There's more feeling here in this Knight of Pentacles. Why? Why am I calling all the cups pentacles? So you definitely must be doing some work stuff, because I just can't get these pentacles off my mind. <sighs> just can't let them go. So, you know, I'm just going to put into that context. So, work. Let go of what has been done for work. I feel like you are really about to find a completely new direction. And again. Whew, excuse me. I'm over here yawning. It's kind of late. But again, you, I feel like you're being, you're being shown a completely new direction, a completely new opportunity. And honestly, I think it may be scary. I'm not saying it's not going to be intimidating or, or, or worrisome. But I feel like internally, you're going to feel kind of excited about it. You're going to feel passionate about it. It's going to kind of like give you some warm fuzzies. It may even fill you with some fire. It may awaken some passion in you. I would say don't charge forward until you kind of have that moment. And again, Scorpio, you guys are very intense, so you may have to mull it over. You may have to think about it a little bit. Again, that's where this transformation comes in. That's where this, you know, don't don't just rush off in the races right away. Really take your time and, and go over this and look at it and, and, and sharpen your awareness of it. You know, you don't have to rush so quickly. And if you could follow that, you end up with this nine of this nine of cups, this you know, space of emotional contentment and feeling happy and well taken care of. And, you know, we talked about bottom of the deck, even underneath that, see Ace of Swords, clarity and your truth. I think that's what this transformation is uncovering for you. Beautiful energy, beautiful, beautiful energy. And I think by the end of July, you are going to be a completely different person in a completely different place. Because internally you're transforming, your work environment is transforming, you have brand new opportunities and literally all of your surroundings being like flipped 180. Amazing. Lots of changes and new perspectives and possibly some breakthroughs. I think you guys are going to have some major breakthroughs this month having transformation pop up twice. That is super exciting. But again, let let that inner feeling, let that desire, let that passion, let that be your guide. If you're having a hard time deciding what choice to make, or if you're hesitating because you're not sure if you really want to let this, this thing go or let this stance go and move forward, trust if you, if you feel drawn to it, if you feel passionate about it, if it makes you feel excited and, and again gives you the warm fuzzies, that's the direction I'd recommend you go in because that's going to get you closer to this Nine of Cups. All right. It's going to be part of your transformation. And again, I don't promise it's easy. I don't promise it's going to be a quick and easy road that's going to be over like that. And then you'll be super ecstatic. But I think the end goal is going to be way better than clinging on to whatever, whatever was. Whatever was, whatever was in the past, clinging on to it isn't going to get you there. It's time to try something new. 
All right, Scorpio, I'm going to wrap up your reading here. As always, thank you, thank you, thank you for all the support and joining me here and watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. I'd super appreciate it. It just helps the channel to grow. If you're not already, especially if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the channel. We do videos like this every month. Um, as long as, it, well, I'm changing the daily structure, so we'll see what that evolves into. But definitely these prediction videos we do a couple times every month. So if you want to know when the Scorpio video pops up, definitely subscribe so you can be notified of that. Hit the notification bell. Um, and as always, best part of this channel is connecting with you guys and building this community of just cool, wonderful, psychic weirdos. You know, we're amazing. So if you have anything to share with me, or if you have questions for me, feel free to hit me up in the comment section down below. You can also DM me on Instagram at The Guiding Chariot. And if you want to book a private session with me, all that info will be in the description box. All right, my loves, take care, and I will see you in your next video. Bye.